What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering, and memeing is now mainstream. We see it work with various degrees of success. When it works, you've got Wendy's, even Burger King at times on their Twitter accounts. When it doesn't work, you've got the 99 out of 100 other people that try. And basically, after the 2016 election and the rise of that green frog, it was pretty clear to see that memeing was going to be a part of most politicians, uh, smart politicians, battle plans going forward. Yesterday, a representative of Arizona's 4th District, Paul Gosser, tweeted a meme, which uh, was like a, not dissimilar from many of my intros on this channel. Wouldn't be surprised if Lofty did this one for him. Uh, it was an Attack on Titan meme that depicted him... I don't know, doing a bunch of stuff. Twitter lost its mind. First came the censorship. This tweet violated Twitter rules about hateful conduct. However, Twitter has determined that it may be in the public's interest for the tweet to remain accessible. Probably because he's a um, politician. But in this meme, we see various things from Attack on Titan. I mean, it's not the best meme work. I'm pretty sure Lofty could do better, but it's just him taking on, you know, we've got what's a migrant crisis. We've got him battling AOC as a Titan. Um, nothing really crazy here. It, it, it's a cartoon, right? But we all know how this ends up. Oh my God, he tweeted something that he was going to end AOC. Now, a lot of people might point to, I don't know, the Kathy Griffin stunt, for example, where she got a little visit and knock at her door from Secret Service after holding you know, a, a head up. I would argue that the two are pretty different. One's a cartoon that is clearly fake and a cartoon... The other is meant to appear real. Now, did I think that Kathy Griffin was, you know, sending a message directly to the president when she did that? No, she was desperate for attention as she always is as, as a perpetual zealous celebrity. But I did think it was hilarious when the Secret Service showed up at her door. Now, Paul Gosser has now doubled down on this in, an emo in the most hilarious of ways. But let's look at some of the the outrage, right? House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Tuesday called for investigations into posting of an animated video by Representative Paul Gosser of Arizona that depicts him battling Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and swinging swords at Biden. Oh my God! Put this right after the investigation of the Capitol. Another thing that's wasting millions of uh, taxpayer dollars and distracting everybody from the piss poor job you guys are doing on Capitol Hill. That's 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 all this is, by the way. Fake outrage. This is sick behavior from Representative Paul Gosser. He tweeted out a video showing him ending AOC with from both his official and personal accounts. In any workplace in America, if a coworker made an anime video ending another coworker, that person would be fired. Nah, wouldn't happen here in my office. His behavior is grotesque, dangerous, and utterly disgraceful to the United States House of Representatives. We must address his intolerable behavior on the dignity of our body and safety of our colleagues. Really? Now, this isn't me stumping for uh, Paul Gosser. I don't know anything about his personal politics. I don't actually have to. The video is hilarious. It is clearly not a threat. It is a meme. Radical republics are dangerous. This behavior from Representative Paul Gosser encouraging this type of raising hands is unacceptable. He needs to be removed. Really? Like, are we clutching pearls this hard? Legal action? What world are these lunatics living in? 
I speak as someone who spent two decades in corporate management. Okay, so you're a boomer. I mean, are you kidding me? If if a Democrat had done this, everyone would be saying the same thing I'm saying right now. It's just a meme. It's not a call to do anything. Sadly, he will face zero consequences. Exactly what consequences do you want him to face? I I mean, the vi it's an anime. It's not even like a real life video. Like, it's not even like a real life depiction of, of things. These people are hilarious. Suspend him from Congress. Now, this cannot be allowed. Congress members can't be allowed to threaten the lives of other members of Congress. This must be condemned. Are, are you seriously in belief that an anime meme is meant as a direct threat? There is so much, much disingenuous pearl clutching here. It's actually insane. Even Kotaku, U.S. congressman, fantasizes about ending AOC and Biden in Attack on Titan video. What? He just means to defeat them in government. It's obvious. Again, I don't know anything about his personal politics. This isn't me advocating for or against. He's not even in my state. My vote doesn't matter when it comes to him. Any anime fans out there? Gosser tweeted from his congressional account with the video attached. The 90-second mashup shows Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican of Georgia, and Representative Lauren Bobbert, Republican of Colorado, as apocalyptic anime shows heroes protecting a city from giant invaders. One of the invaders has AOC's face on it and is ended by the character bearing Gosser's face. Oh my god! Where are my pearls? I don't have any pearls. But cashews are here. Whoa, my cashews. Oh, oh, the humanity. I think you can, I think you can pretty much, uh, anybody who's like genuine, like looking at this in a genuine manner can, can agree that this is just a meme. This is obviously not a direct threat. I mean, while I was en route to Glasgow, a creepy member I work with who fundraises for groups shared a fantasy video of him ending me and he'll face no consequences. Oh, AOC said that. What consequences do you want, AOC? It's a freaking meme. It's a meme. What consequences do you think he deserves for making fun of you? And of course, today, after all the backlash, he doubled down. <laughs> your cartoon anime scares me with your jetpack flying and lightsabers. It's a cartoon. Relax. Yeah. I mean, Neon Taste right here, turn on replies. I mean, the quote tweets, let's see. This isn't even how the meme works, bro. Mm, yeah, I guess that's kind of fair. I guess that's kind of fair. Too scared to turn on comments. People calling us the N-words are crying like babies over anime memes. This is Salty Cracker. I don't know if that's actually him. Oh, it is. Okay. Representative Gosser knows exactly how to deal with these idiots and meme them until they cry and then make memes of them crying. Yeah. I'd probably... Oh, Chris Reagan offended. He closed his replies. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Oh, here's Keith again. This psychopath is a sitting U.S. representative Had has not only posted a video in which he fantasizes about uh, another representative, but he also has blocked all replies to his taunts and terroristic threats. Really, Keith? Really? Let's just see how this goes. Well, let's see.
Yep, on OM, OMG man posted meme to the gulag. Let's see if I can uh let's see if I can get old Oberman with another ratio today. Hey, I don't I don't particularly care for politicians using memes because most of them don't understand them, but I'm fine uh with this. I don't think it's any real threat and the and the hilarious bending over backwards to be offended is a sight to see. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.